We built a DIY maggot farm using a five-gallon bucket after much trial and error on our first attempt at maggot farming. It's been a couple days now, so let's see how well it's working. We got the maggot farm right here. Let's see how many we got in our jar. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Now we do have some rainwater in there, and the reason for that is we got these little holes right here on the lid. We probably need to get those sealed up. We do have some maggots on the outside right here. Definitely working, and it's a lot cleaner than our last maggot farm. So let's go ahead and take these and give them to the chickens. Here we go, free protein. <laughs> really didn't look like much after I poured it out like that, did it? They're loving it. We're just gonna put this right back on there. Now there wasn't much of our roadkill left when we put it inside this bucket. So I wonder, Hoodie, if we had put like a fresher roadkill in there, we probably would have had more maggots. Because even on the maggot farm, like the next few days after we put it in there, that's when we've seen the most maggots and it started decreasing. 